hi there, I'm Dr. Newsom, and today I want to talk to you ladies out there. Are you dealing with indigestion, food sensitivities, bloating, constipation, and on top of all of that, your hormones are off? Well, I want to tell you that this is very, very common. These are the most common symptoms that bring women to see me, okay? And today I want to talk about why this is happening and what you can do about it. So let's talk about the problem. Okay, what is, why is this happening? All right, well, first off, we gotta look at the digestive system. If we aren't digesting the food that we're eating properly, a portion of that food will ferment in our gut. And even if we're eating good, healthy foods, once it ferments, it becomes an irritant to our gut. And as it moves through the entire GI tract, okay, so as it goes through the whole gut, it's causing irritation as it passes through. Okay, this will trigger what you may have heard of that's called leaky gut, okay, where the gut wall swells up and then stuff from the inside of the gut just kind of floats into the bloodstream. It's not uh, indiscriminate. So you get a lot larger particles into the bloodstream than should ever get there, okay? That triggers inflammation. Okay, that triggers an inflammatory response. And as this happens, okay, our lymphatic system becomes congested. Now, I wanna to move to the lymphatic system here real quick. Okay, let me just explain this. Your, your lymphatic system works very similar to the sewer system in your neighborhood. Okay, so you get the sewers drain all the waste away from the houses, right? Now, what the lymphatic system does is it drains waste away from all your tissues, all your organs, like your heart and your brain and your liver and your kidneys and your bones even, okay? And if the digestive tract gets plugged up, quote unquote, okay, we end up absorbing more and more of these undigested food particles and that triggers more and more inflammation in the rest of our body as the blood circulates, okay, that in turn causes congestion in our lymphatic system, okay? When our lymphatic system gets too congested, it's just like congested freeways, okay? When, you're, when the freeway is congested, there's not a lot of movement, right? You get a traffic jam, okay? And that's what happens in the lymphatic system when it's congested, it doesn't flow well. So if there's two things happening in the digestive tract, one, indigestion or poor digestion where the food isn't digesting properly, okay? And number two, if there's constipation, okay, the, the bowel movements, the transit time of the gut has slowed down, that those two factors increase the amount of leaky gut issues that we have. That this causes inflammation, it causes food allergies, it causes all kinds of all kinds of problems, okay? One of the problems that ends up be down the line is hormonal imbalance, okay? As the lymphatic system becomes congested and it can't drain waste away from the tissues, the hormones that are floating through our blood, okay, through our bloodstream, when they get to delivered to those tissues because the tissues will be toxic when the lymphatic system isn't draining them okay it's just like the the plumbing not working in your house okay if everything backed up into your house it, your house would be a mess right well that's what happens when the lymphatic system becomes congested and that happens in our tissues and our tissues have an inflammatory response and as that swelling and inflammation sets into the tissues, as hormones are being delivered to the, the tissue, the heart, the liver, the whatever tissue, right? The, the hormone has so much more space to travel that it gets denatured in what's called the extracellular fluid. Okay, so as, as it's trying to get to the cell to go give the cell its message, it gets banged up, if you will, or beat up on its way to get there. And so 
if we want to un unravel all of this, if we got the hormone problems and the digestive problems happening at the same time, what we have to do is we have to start back at, we kind of have to sandwich it from both sides, okay? First, we have to start with the digestive system, and then we also have to do things to help the tissues and the cells use the hormones properly, okay? So what I do in my clinic is I use these products here. I use these two products to help with correcting the digestive problems. One, I use digestive enzymes to enhance the process of digestion. Okay, so we actually get those the food broken down properly so we don't have that fermentation going on, right? And then I use a colon cleanse, okay, to help keep everything moving. We, it, if, if things get stuck in the digestive tract, it, it's gonna swell up anyways, okay? The more swelling we have, the more leaky gut we have. The more leaky gut we have, the more inflammatory problems and all these other things happen, right? And then finally, for on the tissue side, okay, where we're helping the, the body actually utilize the hormones that you have, I use this Harmony for Women, okay? The key ingredient in Harmony for Women is Chaseberry or Vitex, okay? And one of the things that Chaseberry does is it enhances the cell's ability to utilize progesterone. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you ladies out there, how many ladies out there are suffering from anxiety on some level, okay? Um, I don't know about you, but uh, every lady patient that I've ever had was dealing with anxiety on some level, okay? It's, it's super common. And one of the things that we have happening is in, in ladies, when the estrogen and progesterone are imbalanced and your estrogen is too much higher than your progesterone, estrogen is a stimulant, okay? And it can make you jittery right? Or nervous or anxious, all right? Whereas progesterone is calming. And if, the, if we can get that progesterone to come up or get your body to use progesterone properly, the anxiety settles down. It really is pretty amazing. And that's something that we use this Vitex or Chaseberry. We use that for because it enhances the cell's ability to use that progesterone. Well, I hope you learned something today, both about what's going on in your body and how these supplements all work together. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Dr. Newsom, bringing you Optimal Health Naturally.